you are a teacher of the month here. You were just declared teacher of the month by the city of Oklahoma City. Tell us your name. Molly Janes. And what what uh, what classes do you teach, Molly? I teach fourth grade. I have two classes, and I teach ELA and social studies. Okay, and you teach the fourth grade. Yes. Where is that? Cesar Chavez Elementary. Cesar Chavez yes. Elementary. Okay, yeah. So uh, for for your students watching, uh, I I heard you read a list of things that they wanted the city to do. Yes. Right? Yes. Yeah. What was the What was the mayor's response? Um, he, he said, you know, notably a lot of those things are in the MAPS 4 proposal. <laughs> right. Most, most of them are in the MAPS 4 yes. proposal. So, yes. yeah. Uh, tell, me, tell me how many years you've been teaching now, Molly. I've been teaching full-time seven years. I have one year of student teaching and then half semester of teaching. So, right. eight years total, but seven full from beginning to end. Yeah. What are, what are some of the biggest challenges right now for teachers in your building? A lot of the challenges that we experience actually are just um, a lot of directives that come down that make it hard for us to do just like high quality teaching that we love. Um, we are really underfunded. There are a lot of emergency certified teachers. Um, there are a lot of teachers leaving the profession. And then we have a lot of challenges with students experiencing trauma um, and adverse childhood experiences. And there are a lot of social emotional needs. And whenever you don't have the basic funding for resources, um, then the need for funding for counselors and mental health services, those things aren't even like being talked about or funded um, on the level that they should. So, now, with the with the new reorganization, the path, pathways to greatness, mm -hmm. that uh, those consolidations were supposed to make it to where you would have more support in the building. Are you seeing that right now? Um, so we do have. We went last year from a full time counselor to now a counselor plus a half. There we have one in the building for three days. Okay. Um, and and. One thing that I was really looking forward to was having smaller class sizes, which at the beginning of the year, I still started with 30 students. Right. And we actually just had to add a teacher who started last week. So I was hoping that we wouldn't have to do this um, like mid-August, September, October, kind of like shuffling and adding teachers. I was hoping we had would have all that settled, but that didn't happen. So we do have a steam room now, which was one of the big trade-ups they talked about. Right. Um, but I'm still looking forward to ways in which the culture of our district is going to change and that teacher's voice is going to be more included and that we're going to be proactive versus reactive. Yeah. Talk about, talk about uh, the uh, kind of uh, not, I don't think talked about enough, um, extra load that it means for experienced teachers when you have first year emergency certified teachers, when you have a lot of those teachers in the building. Uh, I just don't hear very much discussion about that, but that actually adds to the experienced teacher's load, doesn't it? Does. It does. How does it, how does it do that? Explain that for somebody who might not really be aware of, of what a load that really is. Yeah, it's, um, so I'm in, last year was my sixth year, this is my seventh year, and last year was my most challenging year. Um, mm -hmm. I had a lot of, I had a lot of behavioral needs for my students. And so like inside my classroom, I felt like I had more needs than I had for a while. And then in addition, having new teachers, um, an alternatively certified and then an emergency certified, and then um, we got a teacher that started in November, it just increases your anxiety. It makes you feel more overwhelmed. It increases the stress because not only do I need to meet the needs of my students, which is what I'm there for, I feel the pressure to help um, you know, not only teach students or te teach new teachers about the pedagogy and the teaching and the best practices, but like they just need to know how to um, like where the music room is or all the basic stuff that's just, they're just like thrown in and then it gets placed on the burden of other teachers in the building who are already overburdened just with the needs of our classroom. And so it, it's very overwhelming and it increases anxiety and it, it just adds a lot more pressure. Um, so. Very good. Molly Janes, fourth grade teacher at Cesar Chavez uh, Elementary School in Oklahoma City Public Schools. Uh, congratulations again for being named Teacher of the Month by the City of Oklahoma City. I'm Brett Dickerson, editor, founder, Oklahoma City Free Press, freepressokc.com. Thank you, Molly. Thank you.